Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle Supplement and Science Review. Today's topic is something that I think that all of us aging bodybuilders really want to kind of keep in our wheelhouse, how to live longer. Not only how to live longer, how to be cognitively astute. Because I think as we get older, sometimes the people's cognitive function declines. They don't think as well. They can get dementia. You know, there's all kinds of brain disorders. You can get Parkinson's disease, which is a movement disorder. And, you know, I found this interesting study on this new amino, relatively new amino acid that has been kind of discovered called L-ergothionine. And, you know, the study there was they followed 20, uh, I think it was like 20,000 people. Or no, they followed 15,000 people for 20 years. And they wanted to basically look at their eating habits and what they consumed and, you know, how much heart disease they got, how much cognitive decline they had. And what they concluded was that... Um, L-ergothionine levels really correlated tremendously with number one, cognitive function, cardiac health, and longevity in general, how long people lived. And the number one source of L-ergothionine happens to be mushrooms. You don't really get the stuff anywhere else. Now, a lot of people say, well, what do you, how do you know you need um, L-ergothionine, which is an amino acid we really don't hear a lot about? Well, we have receptors in our body uh, for, th for this amino acid specific receptors. So if we have receptors. That means we need it, right? Uh, yes, there are some other amino acids that can use that same receptor, but the L-ergothionine receptor is a hundred times more receptive towards L-ergothionine. So we, we're pretty conclusive, you know, it's pretty conclusive that we need this, uh, this amino acid. The problem is that the foods we eat don't have it unless you're a big mushroom eater. Now, I don't know why all of a sudden over the last five years I've been craving mushrooms. I eat them almost every night. I don't know if I'm very, my body's very intuitive with what it needs. And I just kind of were drawn to mushrooms and I, and I have always have a, a whole refrigerator full of them and I'm, you know, I make them with my eggs, my, my dinner, I'll saute them up a little bit. And if you don't like mushrooms, you can buy mushroom extract products that, that have, because all mushrooms by definition have this L-ergothionine in it. So even just the white cheap mushrooms have it in it. Now you have to eat a lot, obviously, to get as much as you would get from a supplemental form of it. But that you know that's up to you. If you eat them every day like I do, you probably get enough of the stuff. If you're not eating them every day, then you might want to take a think about taking a supplement because it, it really is an interesting compound. It's a, it has anti-inflammation effects on the body, which we know are good, especially as we get older. We don't want to have excessive inflammation because that can lead to chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease and obviously. Um, a cognitive decline, and we don't want that. Um, likewise, they found that the countries that eat the, the country that eats the most mushrooms, believe it or not, is Italy. I didn't even realize that. I, my Italian roots. There you go. Those people live the longest in the world, and the people who eat the least amount of mushrooms are actually in the United States. We don't eat any here, uh, by when comparison to other countries, and we have you know the, the most cognitive decline in our population, which is. No surprise, right? So there's been a lot of cor uh, correlative um, data to basically corroborate what I'm saying. Uh, there's a great article if you go to the lifeextension.com website on this product and on this specific amino acid. So, you know, if you have Alzheimer's in your family, you have early onset dementia of some of your relatives, that stuff is inherited, which means that, you know, you just might have a genetic predisposition for having l ergothionine deficiency also you might just have a crappy diet you know and, and because of that and then, like i said you don't have to eat mushrooms you can buy at mushroom extract products supplements but it's something that you might consider and i never even you know look i'm i always tell people i'm learning every single day i learn something new and that's my mission to try to pick up some kind of new knowledge every single day and i had no idea what l ergothionine was um I had to read about it. I had to educate myself about it. But there is a lot of really good data. And a lot of these longevity scientists and doctors that are out there trying to figure out how we can live longer, this is one of the new you know, guys on the block, so to speak. Matter of fact, they actually we know that the telomeres, which are a part of your DNA and, and genes, the shorter they are, you know, supposedly, you know, the, the, the less you live, the long, you know, the shorter you live, the longer they are, supposedly that's the, the longevity, you know, key, so to speak. So if you can find things that actually increase telomere length, supposedly you'll live longer. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but I will say this, that L-ergothionine has been shown to extend or, or elongate these telomeres, which is obviously 
something that we want to see, or at least it's a pattern of something we want to see that's going to help us live a longer life. The key is not living a longer life. It's living a cognitively aware more life. In other words, if I'm 100 and I don't know what the fuck's going on, I don't even want to be around, you know? But if I can think and, and do stuff and be creative still, and I'm still aware of what's going on around me and who everyone is, then I'm good. I'll, I'll hang around forever, you know? But once, you know, you don't, you, you know, you, you don't know what's going on, it, it's almost like you become pathetic. So, there are things we can do now. We're finding supplements. We're finding food ingredients that are going to help us live longer. The question is, do you want to embrace that? Or are you going to be lazy and just say, oh, it's, an, it's just something. It sounds good right now, but in, in six weeks from now, I'm not, I'm not going to remember it anymore. I just keep adding to my list of supplements. They get bigger and bigger and bigger. But look, if there's evidence and there's scientific proof and they've done the studies, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm a big believer in, in, in not putting your head in the sand and just saying, oh, I didn't know. You know, same thing with bodybuilding. I did it when I was, you know, bodybuilding. I was always looking for the latest supplements to help. How much protein, how much fat, what's the best fats to consume? You know, what's the ideal ratio of fats to protein to carbs? You got to find the right way to do things because if you do, you're going to get better results. So just like you might build muscle better, you might burn fat better. Once you start getting older, you want to live longer and not only live longer, but you want to live longer with very good awareness. You want your brain to be working healthy. And, and that's why it's important that you take a fiber supplement, detoxify your body, take probiotics, keep those gut bacteria in check, go for all your diagnostic tests to make sure you have no blockages in your arteries and your heart is working well and efficiently. Um, and, you know, your colon is, is clear via colonoscopy. And once you know all these things and you cover yeah, I mean, it's a pain in the neck, of course, getting older because you got to watch all these little variables. But if you do that and you get in a habit of doing it, almost like brushing your teeth, then what you're going to find is that you're going to get very good. As you get older, you're really not going to feel like you're aging very much. Your body might get older. You might get a little bit of, you know, aches and pains like I'm getting. But by and far, you're going to have a lot of energy. You're going to be thinking clearly. You're going to be able to continue doing what you love and be creative. And, and that's what life's all about. So check it out, L-ergothionine. You can buy mushroom extracts or start adding mushrooms to your diet. I eat portobello mushrooms. I eat white mushrooms. I'll eat, you know, there's all different types if you go to the supermarket that you can pick from. And they're really good. You could saute them in soy sauce or in some macadamia nut oil, which is what I do. I usually saute mushrooms and I put my salmon in there. Sometimes I'll throw some broccoli in there. And it's a, you know, it's a really, you know, tasty, tasty dinner and you're getting some really good nutrients in there. All right, I'm Dave Palumbo with another supplement and science review.